Hello Atom fans! In this video I will tell you about the Roaring Forest and all the four achievements connected to this location. As you can see it is located in the southwestern part of the map, near Fogalevka village. Roaring Forest is also connected to one of the quests that you can take from Dan, leader of the bandits that you can find in the abandoned factory situated near Ontrandoye. So let's begin. Depending if you arrive here by a car or on a foot, you will either end up here or here. There are two main destinations in this location. Here where you descend into the cavern and here where you will find an idol and an achievement. Let's go for the idol first. As you will see the road is pretty safe and you will encounter some spiders and pack of wolves if you take the right path and I advise you to do so if you don't have any meat on you as it will be needed once you reach the wooden idol. Three pieces of meat are required so killing one wolf should do the trick. Just make sure you have knife in the inventory. Here is the idol. Once you click on it you will find that there are five options. Actually I have four because I already got the achievement. In one of them you can vandalize the idol but don't do that because this way you will not get the achievement and the luck bonus that this achievement grants. In front of the idol you will find a stone circle. You have to stand in the middle and drop three pieces of meat. When you do that, the sacrifice achievement will appear and you will be granted plus one statistics in luck. This is actually very handy in the game because luck sometimes will save your ass. So let's go to the next point of destination, which is located here. Once again, the road is pretty straightforward here and you should not have any problems getting to the cave. You will encounter some wolves though along the way. They're the same ones I mentioned earlier. Those enemies are not very difficult to kill and should not pose a threat to a semi-prepared party. In order to get in and out of the cave, you will need two ropes, but I would advise to have three because this way you will not take the full damage while entering the cave. You can always jump in if you want to, but the first time I tried I lost half of my HP, so I don't recommend this method. As you can see my character is successfully slide down the rope without taking any damage. But the first time you will go down the cave the rope should broke and you will take small fall damage. I think this is a scripted event and cannot be avoided, so don't worry. Here you will find new type of enemy. It is not particularly dangerous, but you don't have to fight him anyway if you don't feel like it. This road leads to more spider-like creatures, it also can get you out of the cave, but none of the achievements are connected to this place, so we will not go there.
This place leads to an exit and an indie achievement, but we'll get there in a minute. Now it's time to get another permanent stat boost. This time of your choice, but before this will happen you have to face somewhat difficult opponent. It all depends on your level and the weapons you own, because when I was level 8 or 10, I died easily while facing Blight Beast. On 14th, when I was equipped with a better gear, it didn't have a chance to reach my team before being killed on the 4th turn. So, if by any chance you will feel that this is too much for you, get a better gear and return later. The lair is a pretty toxic place, so if you have a gas mask be sure to equip it. If you don't, there are other ways to survive. While your character can reach maximal toxic level in just a few seconds, carrots are inexpensive and a good way to lower the level of toxin in your body, as a single carrot can reduce the number by 250. Now is the time for the fight. The blind beast usually walks in this part of the map. Once you manage to kill it, search the nearby skeleton and you will find the mysterious syringe. Now who in the right mind would apply something found in the toxic cave guarded by the beast? Well, you of course. As this will reward you with the additional point of characteristics that you can freely assign unlocking superhuman achievement along the way. It's time to get to the other side of the cave. This one is a bit tricky and requires two ropes. Now you have to get back to the place I mentioned earlier. There you will find two stalagmites, conveniently placed on the opposite sides of the gap. First attempt will always fail, so don't worry. The next one is important though. You need to pass the throw check. In order to get a success, you need to have at least 35 throwing weapon skills. If you do, welcome to the other side. In the achievement is just around the corner. Simply approach the human shape painted on the floor. Neanderthal is also easy to get once you know where to look for the hidden stash. If you will go here, you will notice that these boulders can be interacted with. In order to get the achievement you will need two additional items, namely the electrical tape and the sharpening stone. You have to combine all three items, but before you do that I strongly advise to save, as this can end up in your characters failing to craft the item. Let's try it one more time. Once you create the stone knife, Neanderthal achievement will be yours. Well, I hope you liked this video and it will help you. Thank you for watching.